GoThunderWolves.com here with women's basketball head coach Jim Turgeon. Uh, first uh, regional rankings come out yesterday. Your team's ranked number third in the South Central region. Just talk a little bit about uh, how you feel your team's ranked so far this year. Well, I think it's uh, I think it's about where we should be uh, ranked. But I, I can tell you this: the fourth, fifth, and sixth, and seventh are are, are equally as good teams. Um, but I think it's fair based on our region record and what we've done, and it's quite an honor. Uh, but we got a long ways to go. Mentioned a long ways to go. Obviously, big weekend this weekend going up against uh, Cardo Christian and Cardo Mines. Uh, just talk a little bit about how you prep for this weekend. Well, it's a big weekend for us, you know, with uh, conference championships. Uh, things are on the line. Uh, we're honestly, again, this is boring, but we're trying to take one one game at a time. So we're going to concentrate on Christian on Friday night and then uh, see where we land on that one. Then we'll come back the next night and play Mines. And we know both teams are very, very good. They're going to want to beat us, and uh, but uh, we've had a good week of practice, so we'll see how it goes. You're able to beat Mines the first time. So what about you know what are your keys to success against them? Mines is very physical, rebound the heck out of the ball. I thought uh, in that first game we played them, after the first quarter they were really out rebound us, we were turning the ball over. As soon as we started to compete on rebounds and take care of the basketball, we actually kind of slowed down a little bit and executed a little bit better on offense. Uh, you know, we just had a fantastic second half against them last time. So, again, I'm, that was their first league loss of the year, so I'm sure they're going to be ready for this time. And Christian, uh, was actually you guys' last loss. Just talk a little bit about, you know, what you have to do to get a little revenge on them. Well, I think Christian is uh, the most talented team in the conference. There's a lot of talented teams, but for some reason, we seem to match, we don't match up very well with them. Uh, they scare the heck out of me, to tell you the truth. So uh, we're going to have to be at our best and, and offensively and defensively to have a chance to win. Now, obviously, the stakes high going into this weekend. Um, is that something that you've you know, talked about with your team, or is that something that you know, you're kind of having the team put behind them? Honestly, we haven't talked much about it. Uh, I just give him, give them the basic information, and then we, and then we revert back to playing the team we're going to play ahead. Uh, I think they're, they're not, they're not dummies. <laughs> they know what's at stake, and uh, I think they're excited to play. Now, Molly named Defensive Player of the Week once again. She talked about her effort last weekend and so far the season. Well, she could have been very easily the Offensive Player of the Week, too. She had an outstanding uh, defensive game. Um, you know, with her back there, we don't have to double down on the post too much. Um, and she's been able to block shots. And we're also be able to put pressure on people. If they get biased, we have Molly back there. So she's a huge uh, piece of our defensive scheme. And... Um, She's just uh, been really good for us this year. I'm glad she's on our team. Any final thoughts from you on this weekend's games? Well, I, I think we're going to compete. I don't know if we're going to win both games, but I know we're going to compete and give us, our best, uh, give us our best effort. And we've been doing that all year, and I don't know why we won't do that this, this weekend.